Hey y'all, in this video we are going to go over question 9 from your study guide. So we're going to determine the resultant vector that these two vectors are going to combine to make. And we're going to just use this chart to help us do that. So we have two vectors, one going 20 meters, 35 degrees southeast, and the other going 8 meters at 20 degrees south of, um, south, west of south. Sorry. So um, the first step when you're working on a problem like this is you want to draw it out. Um, in reality, these two vectors would combine and look something like this. So we'd go south of east, so it'd be going down like this, and then at the end of this one, we'd be going west of south. So you'd like redraw here, and west of south would be like this. So that, in reality, um, this is what you're working with, and then this would be your resultant vector that we want to find. Now this isn't on a scale, so it's not going to look perfectly like this, um, but that's why, like, this doesn't form a right triangle, which is why we want to um, use this method. Let me erase this, get it out of our way, and now we can solve this. Um, so first one, we're going to draw out that 20 meter vector and it's going south of east, so it's going to go down like this. Since east is last here, that's going to be the axis that we touch with that 35 degrees. And our magnitude of this line is 20 meters. Um, and then we're going to solve, this is just breaking down to x and y components, so you're drawing it into a triangle. x is the horizontal side, y is the vertical side. And then you're going to use strict functions to find x and y. So for the x, it's going to be your hypotenuse of 20 times cosine of our angle of 35 degrees. And we're using cosine because it's adjacent to our angle. And then for the y, we are going to do sine. So 20 sine 35. And we are using sine because we are y is across from our angle. So then you're going to type those in your calculator. You're going to get an answer for x of 16.4 and an answer for y of 11.5. Both of those are in meters. And then you got to look and see if they're going west or south, you're going to make them negative. And in this case, our y is going south, so we are going to make that negative. The x will stay positive because it's going east. So um, that step, like of finding the negatives, that's why it's important to draw this out correctly um, so that you make sure that their neg the negatives are correct. All right. So now we can go in and add this to our chart. So we're going to add 16.4 in the x column and negative 11.5 in the y. Now we can work on the second one. We're going to draw that one out separately. It is going 8 meters at 20 degrees west of south. So that is going to go off in this direction and it's going to touch that south axis since south is the last word there. So this is where the 20 degrees is going to go. And then you're going to, um, and then the 8 meters is your hypotenuse. So then you can turn it into a triangle, go down and over, and then x and y. And y is the vertical, x is the horizontal. Hopefully I'm saying that enough that it gets in your head. So then again, you're going to use trig functions to do it. In this case, x is the opposite side, so you're going to use sine this time. So it would be 8 sine 20, and then in the calculator, you're going to get 2.7. And we're going to make that x negative because it's headed west. For the y, you're going to get um, use 8 cosine because it's adjacent to your angle. So 8 cosine 20, that is going to equal um, 7.5, I believe. Let me double check that. Yeah, 7.5 in the calculator. And we're also going to make that negative because it's going um, south. So we're going to add those to the table. We're going to have negative 2.7 and negative 7.5. All right, so all that part is done. Let me pause real quick and erase. All right, so now our next step is going to be to add up each column. So you're going to add up your x's, add up your y's. When you add up your x's, 16.4 plus negative 2.7 is going to equal 13.7. And then for the y column, when you add those together, you're going to get negative 18.9. From here, you're now into a right triangle problem, right? So this is basically the x and y components mixed with right triangles. So the x one, I always draw first. You can technically draw these in either order. Um, but I always start with x because it's written first. So if the x is positive, you're going to go east. If it was negative, we'd go west. So it's going to be 13.7 east. And at the end of that one, you're going to draw the y one. And in this case, we have a negative one. Negative means we're going to go south. So 18.9. And once you draw this part, you can get rid of that negative. It doesn't, the negative's job is to tell us which way to go. Um, and we knew, we did that, and now our arrow is telling us which way we're going. So from here, we're going to find our resultant vector. We have a right triangle. So we're going to use Pythagorean theorem. So 13.7 squared plus 18.9 squared equals r squared and when you work that out you're going to get an answer for r of 23.3 meters then we want to find the direction that it's going if it helps you draw this right triangle on a coordinate plane to help you out 
you're starting from the origin you want this ankle right here from here you're going to use inverse tan over 18.9 over 13.7 you're going to get 54.1 degrees and then look and see that it is touching the east axis and going below that so it'll go south of east so when you put all your answers together you're going to get a resultant vector of 23.3 meters going 54.1 degrees south of east and that's your final answer.